members will now go through our agenda and we will go to um, item nine. Item nine is to make operative plan change, a private plan change. Uh, 56, to rezone a small parcel of land in Ellerslie at 10 Mitchelson Street uh, from mixed housing suburban to business mixed use. Um, Councillor Bartley, can I ask you to move this particular motion? Happy to move, Chair. Do I have a second, please? I'll second then. Uh, so it's moved, Councillor Bartley, seconded by uh, the Chair. And I will now hand over to Leanne Lucas, a senior policy planner in our Plans and Places unit. Uh, this is end of process uh, for the uh, private plan change in Ellerslie to make it operative. With you, Leanne. Leanne, do you, um, can you hear us, Leanne? Kalinda, is, is Leanne with us? I am, apologies for that. Okay, we, we can hear you now, Leanne. So this is, uh, if you didn't hear me before, we recognise this is end of process. Um, it's been well tested. And um, if you would just like to give us a brief summary, Leanne, of uh, the recommendation to make this operative. Sure. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, so this, yes. So you don't want me to go over the, the ins and outs of it getting to this point. You just want me to go over the fit, where we're going with this recommendation. A brief summary. Yes, please. Okay. So the recommendation is that we um, change it to the um, business mixed. Sorry, the business mixed use zone. Um, it it's essentially having gone through the planning process. Um, it, it can be catered for in the area as a business zone as opposed to its um, uh, current zone of mixed house um, um, suburban. Um, uh, there are conditions in place, oh, sorry, there are not conditions, but there are um, understandings that it can actually um, fit into the network um, reasonably well. Um, there's an agreement between uh, water care services with regards um, tapping into the um, the existing services and the developer um, accepting the charges and all the costs of, of doing that. Um, yeah, it, sorry, <laughs> I'm a bit on the back foot for this one, unfortunately, but um, essentially the process that went through was very mild in terms of a plan change. It seems to fit a very um, easy transmission into being a mixed use zone in the area. Thank you, Leanne. Members, are there questions on this particular process, please? Kia ora, Chair To here. Kia ora, uh, Member Hinare, your question, please. Yeah, just on the Māori impact statement, it, uh, the applicant engaged with relevant mana whenua, uh, Ngāti Manuhiri Te Kawarewa Maki. Um, Manuhiri lodged a submission which sought that the, should that be plan change or place change? Is that, is that a spelling mistake? Uh, Leanne, uh, referring, Leanne to referring to paragraph, paragraph 20, 22. 22. Uh, yeah, Māori Impact Statement, uh, second to last se uh, sentence. Sorry, Leanne, I... can you spot that? I think Is that a typo, please? I, I would say it is a typo, yes, it would be plan change. Thank you, Member Henry. Does that satisfy you, Member Henry? Um, yeah, just I'm just going on. Um, subject to ensuring that mana whenua values were incorporated into the precinct provisions, mana whenua did not submit any appeals. Do we know uh, if Ngāti Manuhiri are satisfied with the updated uh, provisions? Sorry, I'm, I'm um, not sure... What Chair, you're talking, what you're Chair, talking to? Chair, if I can, uh, if I can please respond. Um, I'll go to John, John Dugard here. Uh, I think Member Henare is potentially referring to the the next private plan change in the Walkworth area. Um, we could just uh, check that with Member Henare. I thought, I thought we were on item ten. Sorry. 
we're on item nine, and uh, I thought we were referring to paragraphs 20 to 22, but that's okay. Henry, sorry, Member Henry, we'll come I'm sorry. To you next. Sorry, Chia, I'm always, I'm always um, ahead of my time. You're always ahead of us, uh, Henry. Well, apologies, well, apologies. That's all good. That's all good. That's all good. Um, um, Member Wilson, please. A question from you? <laughs> yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm never ahead of my time, unfortunately. Um, so the question I would like um, answered, if I can, by way of the MIS on this agenda item, um, it refers to the engagement of 15 EWI groups uh, and the deferral of most of those to Ngāti Whātua Ōrāke. I'm wondering if, if you do have uh, any more information on uh, those that didn't defer to uh, Ngāti Whātua Rake and if any concerns were expressed at that time, uh, if you have any viewing of that or not? Yeah. We don't have audio, Leanne. Um, did you hear the question from Member Wilson, Leanne? Or John Duguid? Could you come in here, please, John? Um, thank you, Chair. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't have any further information uh, in response to Member Wilson's question there. Um, Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> I'm here. Right, thanks. Okay, um, I'll, I'll just start this again because uh, we're having uh, connection difficulties here. Um, Member Wilson, can I ask you to put your question again, please? Yes, thank you, Mr Chair. Um, so my question is, as per the MIS in the report, that the requester engaged with 15 EWI groups prior to lodging the plan change, and there's commentary that says most deferred to Ngāti Whātua Rāke. There's no commentary referring to those that did not, and if they did not, of those concerns that may or may not have been expressed, were expressed and addressed. Thank you, Member Wilson. Leanne, I think you've heard the question now. Uh, I, can I you have. respond, please? Thank you. I believe that word most was probably... Um, could have been used differently. Um, essentially, what it meant was that um, the ones that did um, respond did say that they would um, defer their interests to um, Ngāti Whātua Auraki, and Ngāti Whātua Auraki being the only ones that, um, well, being left with the responsibility. So that word most probably shouldn't have been used that way. Yeah, so from the ones we did hear from, they had no concerns. Um, I believe the applicant did pursue um, a second time to get some further information from those who did not respond and there was no further um, contact made. So the ones that did respond were happy enough to leave it with Auraki. Does that answer the question? It, it does, but it, it still doesn't uh, give comfort, I guess, around those that did or didn't defer. And it's mostly those uh, that did not defer. What was the nature of that? Was it they just didn't respond? Was it that they expressed but it wasn't addressed? I guess that's at the crux of my question, Leanne. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think the, the the I think most of them felt that the issues could be addressed at the resource consent stage. That this plan change from the one zone to the other didn't signal to them that there was there was anything to be of concern. Mr Chair, it's Megan here. I'm just wondering, yes. could I just clarify, uh, Leanne, there was only uh, one submitter and that was, was not Ngāti Whātua or any uh, mana whenua group, is that right? So we, what we're talking about here is no mana whenua group uh, felt that it was necessary to submit on this plan change and that any matters uh, where they may have concerns or would like to see more detail would come at the resource consent stage. Could I just confirm that, Leanne? That's correct. Thanks. So, Member Wilson, I'm again. It, it may not fully um, answer your question, but at least it answers the 
um, the level of concern and whether or not mana whenua felt that this plan change was, um, it, that it was necessary to submit on it, uh, and nobody did. Thank you, Mr Chair. Thank you, yes. Megan. Yeah. Um, Member Thank Wilson, you. I just want to come back to you and make sure that um, that's clear to you or you've got a further question. Uh, no, I don't have any further questions except to say thank you for the clarity that's been provided and uh, it would be in the future good to um, make sure those those points are well stated in the MIS. It would be helpful. Thank you. Mm. Uh, point taken and it is important to raise uh, and we, we need that absolute clarity. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, Councillor Simpson, you have a question uh, about the water care interest there. Would you like to put that, please? Yes, thanks, Chair, and apology team for lateness. I was on the DC hearing. Um, Kalinda, just for the record, I actually joined at the end of public forum. Um, I don't know why you've just noticed it now. Sorry, I should have probably said something. Um, my question, just to a clarification, Chair, please, around the water care concern, was that just on payment who pays? Leanne, would you, you that? Through you, Chair. Through you, Chair. Sorry, there's a lot of echo and I imagine that's why I was um, muted last time. Um, the question, uh, the concern was um, funding of the um, connection and in actual fact whether um, it could be done. So two options were put forward, they were considered and one option was considered to be the more desirable one. And so, yeah, those are the concerns essentially. So in simple terms, supplementary, if I may, Mr Chairman, uh, water care no longer have a problem with this. Is that correct statement? That's correct. There's no further concerns for them. They're, they're um, happy with the arrangement that they've reached with the applicant. Thank you. Thanks, members. I think that's all the questions. Are there any comments, members? There being none, it is moved and seconded. We're on item nine and we are making um, uh, approval of the private plan change Number 56 at Mitchelson Street in Ellerslie. All those in favour say aye. 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 To the contrary, please say no. And uh, that is carried. Thank you, members.